Guess what I did? I dropped all of this stuff. Disaster starts. Hello, my fellow sniffers. Okay, today, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce you. This is Monty, for those of you who haven't met Monty before and don't know why I have a Senegal or why I temporarily have a Senegal, all is yet to still be decided. Watch the series on my two Senegals, Nelly and Monty. Okay, are you happy you've been introduced? Oh my God. Anyway, welcome back sniffers, and for those of you who are new here, please stick around. If you love animals and you wanna learn something about birds or you just wanna see birds like you've never seen them before, I am here to help you love them and teach you how to interact with them. Hashtag engage not cage. Today though, we are gonna go see a very, very special pet of mine. A pet you may or may not know about. Can you guess who it is? Let me know in the comments if you can guess who it is. You probably have to be a very loyal watch her to know exactly who we're going to see today. Now here's the thing guys, Ugh, I hope I make it. I know another one of those, I hope I make it on time, but I gotta go to a store and get something to surprise my special pet with before. So that's the only reason I hope I make it. What's going on Sandy, you coming in here? Just so you guys know, it's a Sunday and I'm very lonely because <sighs> I'm always here making videos, which I love. I'm a workaholic and George is a workaholic, so he can't even come with me because he's working. But I have this idea, maybe I will um, kind of bribe him. So I'm often alone all the time on Sundays and every day. Monty, you can't come, okay? What? Mm. Okay, Monty, you stay in here and hang out. They're kind of in quarantine. They're not in quarantine anymore, honestly. I should do a video of me pulling them out of quarantine. But here's the thing. He's just so cute and I love him sleeping in my room. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing. You may think that I only have this shirt and um, it's true. No, I swear I'm not even wearing this to promote merch, guys. I'm wearing it because this is like the warmest, coziest sweater that I've ever had and I'm in love with it. And so yeah, I have to go outside and if I have to go out, and face the day, I'm wearing this. Oh my God, George is interrupting my video to tell me to bring his sweater down, which I already have. What are you doing lying down? What? What happening, Jersey? Tell him. What are you doing lying down? You can't lie down because we have lots of big stuff to do. Go ahead, Jersey, take it from here. Rocky, are you watching your TV? <gasps> oh. Hi. Are you? What's wrong with you? My head hurts. Hey, how did you get here? How did you get here? Are you so cute? Say hi, Starbucks. Ooh, I want Starbucks. Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? I love you too, Cody. What are you doing? You want to jump over there? Show us how you jump. Show us how far you can jump. Yeah. Yes, little girl. Okay, guys. Here we are at Red Barn and Pet Feed. Okay, so here's the thing. Please tell me they're open. I always bring food to go visit who I'm going to visit. I'm sure you guys guessed by now who I'm visiting, right? Tell me you did. If you haven't guessed, we're visiting Charlie, and I always want to bring something to Charlie when I visit him. I've never filmed it here, so that's why I'm being very quiet. I'll tell you when I'm outside. I'll tell you why, why I come get this. It's a very important reason, okay? And I think you all should know. Guess what, guys? Craziest thing. The girl that helped me out, obsessed with my sweater. She doesn't know Vinny or anything. She just like, where can I get that? And I'm like, yeah, this, this is, this is pretty Pretty amazing. This is a pretty amazing one. Let me tell you the thing I wanted to tell you, or you know what? Let me wait till I get there to tell you. Cause this is dark in here. And my car's doing some weird thing. Okay guys, so as you know, we're here. Oh. Guess what I did? I dropped all of this stuff. <sighs> Which is what I was just gonna tell you about. So now let's see if we have a bag in our trunk. Disaster starts. Oh my God. I dropped all of Charlie's food. Let's see what happens. Uh, I was able to rescue most of it. Here's the thing. The reason I bring Charlie this special food, 
too special, but is because you can't feed ducks bread because it has no nutritional value. They fill themselves up on it. They get extremely bloated. Bread actually blocks the absorption of other nutrients. So I always go and get Charlie some food. Now, I get so nervous when I'm walking up here because, you know, like I haven't seen him in a while and I wanna make sure he's okay and living the life and I don't know, you know, anything could happen to him. A lot of these ducks, things happen, birds get attacked. So I just get really nervous. I wanna tell you guys a story though, as I'm approaching, let me show you. Wow, all the ducks are out here. They're all out. I don't see Charlie. Oh my god, I see my Charlie. You're not Charlie. Where are you? Charlie gets offended if anyone, okay, that's for you guys. If Charlie sees me feeding anyone else, he does this, he runs away. Charlie, come here. Charlie! I see you. Okay. I have to him. Excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. Charlie, don't look out at me. Charlie, come here. Charlie, you so hungry? Look, Charlie. Charlie, let's go off into a corner alone. Charlie, we can hang out alone. Look, look. Hey, baby. It's never this, this many. Like, come here, Charlie. Charlie, come here. Charlie! Why are you running from me today? Come here. Okay. Okay, look, I'm gonna run faster than you. Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Don't be mad. Charlie can't see me feed you or he gets upset. Come here, Charlie. Yeah, drink some water. Ducks can't eat without drinking, by the way. <laughs> okay, guys, look. Why are you all hungry today? So guys, usually what happens is there's somebody that comes and feeds them every single day. So I'm hoping that's what's happening. They look particularly hungry today. And usually at this time of the day, they're not, they're kind of over here where I am. They're not usually over there. How beautiful is this? So I want to tell you a story. Light, enter. There we go. Guys, Charlie came back. Yay. Oh, I love this. I am a mess. It's kind of time to go now. Yeah, I came out looking like a hoodlum. What do you want? Let's see if Charlie wants to say bye. Bye, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, he's waiting. Bye. Did you see a legal his tail at me? Bye, Charlie. I love you. You want to come back? Come here. Come say bye. 
Aww, look at you wagging your tail. I love you, baby. Guys, I wanna tell you something a little weird as I walk by Charlie. I used to come to this duck park a long time ago before Charlie. I think it's raining. And uh, I met this guy and he was feeding all the birds. And the reason he was feeding them was because he said the state didn't feed them anymore and they ran out of money or something. So then I used to come feed them. And then one day I had a dream that I had a duck here. And in that dream, I had a duck and an African gray. And this was after George died. And I came to the park and I said, who's my duck, who's my duck? And then a duck came up to me and I knew him and he was mine. And I uh, think I told one person that dream, my mom. And obviously just like dreams, you forget about it. Then my dad came to visit and I turn around one day and Jenna goes, dad has a duck in his hands. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. And he had a little baby rescue duck. Fast forward to now Charlie lives at the pond and I visit him and I say, who's my duck? And he comes. So dreams really do come true. It's crazy. Guys, look at this oh, sorry. I have many stories about Charlie. Charlie became really famous as soon as he got here. First of all, he would show up in all of the wedding photos. Oh, okay, wait, let me go back to the beginning. I have a few things to tell. Wow, look at the ducks flying. First of all, this park, one thing I have to tell you is that they did start feeding the ducks again and there's rangers, as last I knew, that come and feed them. These ducks are kind of like half domesticated. They can come and go as they please. They fly here and there's different migrations, but they also like to nest here too. So there's certain seasons where the geese lay eggs and um, there are people that look out for them. So Charlie's been uh, very popular over here. He loves people. He's not the only duck that is extremely domesticated. There's a goose here named Louie. Louie and Charlie have a lot of beef together because Louie has like a crew that he rolls with and Louie and his crew were the gangsters of the pond. And Charlie was kind of like an outcast, but then Charlie like made his way up the ranks and became a gangster too. And then the rangers told me that one day Charlie and Louie both went up into the office and made complaints. And one of the rangers friends taught Charlie how to go into the office and get his own food. So he knows how to do that. And then he went in there and yelled at them. And then Louie went in there and yelled at them. One time Charlie was in quarantine. And when he came out, the first thing he did was go have beef with Louie and then jump in the water to have a bath. And he also likes to go over to the cafe and then they have to call and say, hey, Charlie's here. But he doesn't like to go in the water so much. See, he always looks like he hasn't had a bath. What's going on, Charlie? You look a little muddy. For those of you wondering, Charlie is a Muscovy duck. He has a life expectancy of eight to 12 years. He's like, what, I didn't know that, but don't worry. 20 years sometimes in captivity, sort of. You're free, but you're also captive. He can get out of here anytime he wants. I saw you wag your tail. So don't even be pretending like you don't love me. I saw you wag your tail. This is good exercise, Charlie, because you're looking a little beefy. Wait, I want to say bye. Seriously, I want to say bye, Charlie. Charlie, I want to say bye. Let's stop running. I want to say bye to you. Aw, baby. I love you. I'll see you soon, okay? I wanted to say happy holidays, but I'll be back, okay? And I'm going to bring Grandpa. You know, Grandpa's going to be excited to see you, okay? I love you. Bye. Bye, Charlie. Who loves when George visits? Loves that. I see you wagging your tail. I know you're happy. Bye, Charlie. I have to go now. It's hard leaving him. Bye. Not exactly like he acts like Leo, but he is happy to see me and he does know me. And he especially loves seeing George. Every time I brought my dad out though, like he's not around. Hard to explain, but um, yeah. So I'm filthy right now. By the way, this is the exact kind of thing that, um, I don't know if I have to mention this, but I'm going to. Obviously, I wouldn't want to contaminate my birds when I go home. Not that there's much to be contaminated contaminated with, but you just don't know like outside contaminants, the ducks, what the ducks ate, what kind of food the sparrows have 
transferred. It's just like a whole thing. Anyway, so I'll be going home to like get myself in order, but probably I'll go wash my hands and then go to Starbucks. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love giving you this update on Charlie. That's my duck, Charlie. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know your favorite part of this video. Bye! Don't forget to order your Vinny Gang shirt before this next batch goes out. Link right here. Love you guys so much. Bye!